on how to make a low poly shader in shader graph. I'm using uh, Unity 2018.3 and this should work with um, any version of Unity that supports lightweight render pipeline. So uh, let's get started. I wanted to show you the the old way of uh, how you represent low poly in Unity. So I'm going to slap on a default material here um, on this character right now. And this is what it looks like without the shader. Uh, so what people used to do was go into their model settings here on the right hand side and calculate their normals and make it uh, so you double the vertices in uh, in your model and this would have caused problems with uh, certain shaders and certain uh, shadow techniques uh, on the ground here so if I were to turn, turn up the bias for the normal you would start getting kind of like holes in your model uh, at certain times but I can't really see it now in this model but that would be the usual problem and the problem of performance where you have to du double vertices although it's not that big of a performance uh, change but it's better to use a shader that takes care of this so to create the shader um, I'm going to go into a folder here in my project and create a new shader and I'm going to choose the PBR graph I'll call it um, low poly shader tutorial just for the heck of it and uh, I'll go to this uh, player player material for this guy right here and I'll change it to the um, let's see the shader graph alright so now we're in the uh, shader editor and I've set my smoothness to one or it's zero sorry <laughs> and uh, to make sure that you know low poly models aren't usually shiny so we usually just turn that to zero and the way we get started with the shader is by uh, first getting our position in world space of every vertex and we just do this with the position node and uh, then you would have to get the derivative on the x-axis for for that position and then the derivative on the y-axis for that position and then you would combine those two with the cross product just like this and uh, it's not going to show you anything until we normalize this so if you now look, uh, there is a clear low poly effect here. So basically what um, the DDX and DDY do is, I'll just draw it for you. So let's say I have a, let me turn off stabilizer. If we have a, a rectangle here, this is like a face on our model. Um, and these are the vertices, which I'll change color. Here's, here's the vertices. And basically what the DDX and DDY do is um, they get the derivative of a vertex. So basically it gets the kind of the direction, the or the rate of change the uh, face is going in. So on the x-axis and on the y-axis for the DDY and basically what we need to do with these two uh, directions, these two vectors, is get the cross product of it and we just do this with a simple function um, which is what we want and what we'll have to do now is get the sun's direction or the light or the, the uh, directional lights direction that it's pointing at and the way we do that w is with a vector 4 we add that into our properties here and I'm going to call this light direction 
and you have to mark unexposed and we change the reference to underscore world world space light pos and then zero and then we drag this onto the shader or onto the graph and we basically drag this out and we type in dot product and then we basically connect those two together just like this and it's not going to show anything um, until we start plugging this into the albedo and when I save this um, we go back into our scene and as you can see we start seeing low poly which is really what we want um, and the way you would basically add on to this is um, we probably want to clamp this dot product between 0 and 1 to make sure we don't get any like weird color artifacts and then we would add some color to it so add out a color property here I'm just going to call it main color and I'll set it to some blue color I'll drag that on and basically we just multiply by the, by the dot product here and then just drag that into the PBR albedo. If we go back into our scene, well, bam, there is our model. Uh, if we click on our material here, we can gladly just change the color to whatever we want. And it's up to you to like add any textures, emission, or normals. Well, we don't really use normals on low poly, but maybe some people do. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's a pretty simple thing, pretty simple shader. Um, so if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, please comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions. And uh, thank you for watching.